Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Um, today we're going to be looking at a relatively weird helmet called the Undead Crown. I always felt it was weird anyway. And there's a reason why I always felt it was weird, is because it kind of has cross purposes. And you'll understand as we go over it. Um, it is called the Undead Crown. Now, looking at it, you would assume that it's made for a necromancer because it does have a necromancer-only skill on it. But as we go over it, you'll be like, hmm, that doesn't really seem like it would be very good for a necromancer. <laughs> and, uh, and you'll see as we go along. So right off the bat, you'll notice that it is uh, defense 113. Um, it does have a strength requirement of 55, as well as a level requirement of 29. So it's going to be utilized probably... A little bit after you kill Diablo in Act 4 Normal. Um, that's probably where I would posture it. Um, I do actually have a leveling uh, guide by Act here. Let's see. Level 29 would be Act 4 Normal. Look at that. Dead on. Uh, so around Act 4 Normal is when you would probably put this on. And uh, level 29, 113 defense. That's not bad. 50% uh, damage to undead here uh, definitely does give a nice bonus for off-weapon ED, but it is um, not really going to help out a necromancer that much. Uh, there's only one necromancer that is a melee necromancer, pretty much in the entire necromancer tree, and that is the poison dagger necromancer. Um, so I guess if you were specifically trying to be a poison dagger necromancer, this could come in handy, sort of. Uh, 100 attack rating against Undead. Again, another bonus for a melee character or a ranged character. A 5% life stolen per hit. Again, another bonus for a melee or ranged character. Uh, we have plus 3 to Skeleton Mastery, which is certain very nice if you're building an army. So if you are a Poison Dagger Necromancer, maybe, who is building a Skeleton Army along with side of his Poison Dagger, that could definitely be an interesting way to, uh, to have some nice damage output. Uh, we also have 60% uh, Enhanced Defense on this, which does vary from 30 to 60%. Um, as well as, I forgot to mention, the attack rating also varies from 50 to 100 attack rating versus Undead. Uh, we also have 40 extra defense added on top of the the 30 to 60 enhanced, and uh, and 50% poison resistance. 50% poison resistance is a lot of poison resistance, um, especially for normal difficulty, where a lot of monsters can poison you to death relatively easily due to your relatively low health pool, and uh, and just in general. It's nice to have a little bit of extra poison resistance. Uh, would have come in handy a lot better against Andoriel, but, you know, if you were to utilize this into Nightmare difficulty around level 40 when you fight Andoriel, um, it could definitely help you with uh, Nightmare Andoriel's poison. Uh, we also have half freeze duration uh, on this, which is definitely nice in lieu of Cannot Be Frozen. And early game and normal difficulty, you don't necessarily need Cannot Be Frozen, um, but it's definitely imperative once you get to Nightmare and, norm and the Hell difficulty. Um, so half, half freeze duration on here is definitely useful. Uh, the Ethereal version, of course, has more defense of 150, and, uh, and not a lot else going for it except for a slightly reduced uh, strength of 45 instead of 55. Now, of course, you can upgrade this if you would like to. Um, what you are going to need to upgrade this is a Shale Rune, a Tal Rune, and a Perfect Diamond. Um, and let's see if we can... I know I got, I know I got plenty of shells. Don't tell me that. All right, so let me move myself out of the way so we can get this upgraded. And uh, we'll take a look and see what this potentially upgrades to and whether or not it would be a good idea. So first we're going to upgrade the non-ethereal version, which is 113 defense, 55 strength, level 29, to 220 defense, uh, 103 strength, and level 34. Not bad on the strength, 133, 103, but that's still a little bit too high for a necromancer in my opinion. And um, you notice that the graphic changed as well. So nightmare level crowns tend to look like that when they are uniques. Um, that is the uh, the nightmare graphic, and when we upgrade it to hell, it's going to transform back again. So that's that's always funny. Um, now the ethereal version is going to upgrade from 150 defense, 45 strength, level 29, to one uh, 257 defense, 93 strength, level 34. Now I'm going to be honest with you, not a bad upgrade as far as defense and level requirements are concerned. Uh, the strength requirement didn't go up so high that it was untenable. The defense actually went up kind of decently, and the level requirement didn't go so high that it was crazy. Uh, not a bad one-tier upgrade. 
Um, but the question is, is what would you use it for? The answer is most likely not a necromancer. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of silly, considering it has skeleton mastery on it, but the majority of the time when you find an undead crown, you put it on a mercenary for lifesteal, you put it on a melee character for lifesteal, you put it on a barbarian for lifesteal, uh, uh, an Amazon for lifesteal. I mean, the attack rating, the damage bonus to undead, the lifesteal, as well as the poison resistance, the half-freeze duration, none of that is restricted to a necromancer. And, uh, and it actually works fairly well to keep your mercenary alive and to keep your melee or ranged character alive, just in general. Um, I could definitely see putting this on a, a solo self-found character's head uh, for the lifesteal as well as the other effects and the defense. It's definitely a very nice little helmet um, uh, on my journey up to, you know, hell difficulty. And um, let's upgrade this one more time to the hell version or the elite version, uh, which is going to require a Lem rune, a Co rune, and a Perfect Diamond. And I uh, should have plenty of those laying around. Yep, and we got two Perfect Diamonds. So first, let's do the normal version, or the uh, the non-ethereal version. And uh, we're going to need our Lem, our Co, and our Perfect Diamond. And it's going to upgrade from 220 defense, 103 strength, level 34, to the Corona, which is 264 defense, 174 strength, which is ridiculous and level 78 so as you can see not a good upgrade to the third tier at all the strength requirement goes way too high the level requirement goes way too high and the defense really didn't bump up that much to be worth it uh, now the undead grand crown uh, in the ethereal form goes from 257 defense level 90 uh, level 34 93 strength to uh, the Corona 425 defense, 164 strength, level 78. Now, of course, the defense on that was kind of nice, but at the same time, I wouldn't waste a Lemon Co. on that. It just doesn't really seem worth it unless you just really wanted to have a fully upgraded uh, Undead Crown on your head. Uh, there's definitely a lot better helmets that you could use at level 78 than this, and I would definitely not recommend upgrading this to its third tier. Um... All in all, I do think Undead Crown is just one of those odd helmets that ends up on the head of a character that it probably wasn't intended for. Um, it doesn't really end up on the head of the Necromancers very often. Now, if I was a Poison Dagger Necromancer, and I did happen to come across an Undead Crown, I could see myself using it. Um, specifically because I would want to put most of my points into my uh, my dagger, and uh, beefing up the skeletons could be a good move to uh, buy me a little bit of space in between the monster that I'm fighting, and you know, I, so I can stab and then run away, and then stab and then run away. That could be interesting. Now, where could you potentially find an undead crown if you were looking specifically to find an undead crown? Well, um, let's take a look over at Silo's pen and let's see uh, where potentially you could get one of these to drop. Um, we're going to pretend that we have relatively low magic find, though, because, of course, this is a, a level 29 character. Um, and uh, we're going to look mainly at normal difficulty, because I feel like if you're looking for this particular item, you're probably going to use it on a normal difficulty character. Um, so with those restrictions in mind, uh, let's go have a look on Silo's pen. All right, so 75% magic find, uh, normal difficulty, undead crown, and bosses. So uh, it looks like Diablo and Bale are your two best shots there for normal difficulty at 1 in 370 and 1 in 390. Not bad at all. You could probably get your hands on one of those relatively easily. And I know you can't see it because I forgot to move my camera. Uh, but there you go. Uh, so 1 in 370 and 1 in 390 for Bale and Diablo. Uh, we also have Super Uniques. Let's take a look at Super Uniques in Normal Difficulty. And um, not bad choices. Uh, we do have Frozen Stein, Pindle Skin, Thresh Socket. Um, those are all relatively solid choices. Uh, you could pretty much farm um, Pindle Skin and Thresh Socket relatively easily um, in Normal Difficulty. Uh, Thresh Socket is at the end of Frigid Highlands. Uh, of course, you're probably going to kill Eldritch on the way. And um, basically, you just follow Frigid Highlands to the end until you find uh, a steps. And Thrush Socket is always at the steps. Um, you can teleport to him. Uh, that would probably be the best way. Uh, but if you are 
you know, a necromancer, you're going to have to walk. So that's probably not the best choice. But Pindle Skin is really easy to get to, obviously, because he is right in through the portal. Um, you can summon your skeletal army, and then you can go and you can kill him. Um, not a bad choice to farm for uh, the, for this particular item. And then let's take a look in uh, Nightmare Difficulty just to be sure. Uh, maybe there's some monsters in Act 1 that could potentially uh, drop this item for you. Although I feel like Act 1 is probably a little bit too far along to find yourself one of these. But it does look like Bonebreaker, Bishy Wash, Cold Crow, Corpse Fire, Treehead Woodfish, Rock and Issue, uh, Pit Spawn, Foul Dog, Bone Ash... Um, even the Countess, all very good chances to drop this item. So I don't really see uh, it being too much of an issue getting your hands on one of these. Um, so definitely um, consider that. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when we are raising the dead uh, with our beautiful undead crown. And um, as always, keep watching.